This year's inductees to the Oregon Music Hall of Fame include a guy who's won two Grammys, another guy involved with 250 albums, but maybe the biggest news this year is the 50th anniversary of a song that was investigated by the FBI. Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Ken Ackerman. Joining us, Terry Currier, president of the Oregon Music Hall of Fame. Morning. The FBI. The Sounds FBI. Sounds ominous, doesn't it? Yeah, they, they, they looked into the lyrics. They thought something evil was happening in those lyrics, and uh, there, there was big files of an investigation on this. Now, we, we haven't even told them what song it was. Louie Louie. Louie Louie, the Kingsman. It's the 50th anniversary of Louie Louie this year. Didn't the FBI know that it was an old sea chanty that had already been recorded? Uh, they wouldn't ever got into this. <laughs> and the Kingsman version really started a whole new revolution in rock and roll. They were it predecessored the Beatles, and uh, bands started becoming garage bands all over the country. And then the Beatles kicked in and the whole thing went wild. Yeah. So this year we have, uh, as I mentioned, uh, someone who's won two Grammys, nominated for many more. Who are we talking about? Chris Boddy. Chris Boddy grew up here, moved back to New York, played with Frank Sinatra, Buddy Rich, and went on to play with Paul Simon for 10 years. And since then has played with Aretha Franklin, Bette Midler, went out on tour with Sting. A lot of people just don't know of the, you know, we hear of the Quarter Flash and New Shoes and the, those kind of bands, but we don't know of the single performers that really made a mark on this industry, such as the guy who was involved in 250 albums. Who's this? Greg Williams. Greg Williams has either played, produced, or engineered on 250 different records. At one point, he was the drummer for Sheryl Crow. Really? And uh, two people I know, Pete Krebs, his band. Pete Krebs, Van Hazel, will be getting inducted this year. And Janice Groggins. Janice Groggins. And we got a wild card this year, too. We have Mayor Bud Clark going into the Oregon Music Hall of Fame. Is he musical? Mayor Bud Clark was the most supportive of the musical arts in the city of Portland of all, my, all mayors ever. Really? Now, when you say supportive, uh, tell me what you mean by that. I, he made it possible. The mayor's ball happened because of uh, Bud Clark. He opened up a lot of opportunities. He, he just made it possible for a lot more musicians to do a lot more things in the city. In the 1980s, when he was mayor, uh, the spotlight started to come down on Portland again. We had the, the Dan Reed Network. We had uh, New Shoes. We had Robert Cray. And uh, Portland became one of those meccas to look at. Now, is Quarter Flash being inducted? this year? No, but the performance for this year's induction is pretty exciting. We've got Richmond Fontaine, who's going into the Oregon Music Hall of Fame. We have Quarter Flash, who's already in the Hall of right, Fame. Right, that's what I thought. And we have the Kingsman. They're all playing. They're all playing. It's going to be a wonderful night of music. It is. And what, what uh, other categories? Do you have Album of the Year? Our Album of the Year is going to be Curtis Elgato's Soul Shot record. It was his first record on Alligator Records, and it He's won all kind of awards across the United States, including three back at the Blues Music Awards in Memphis. And Esperanza Spalding is our Artist of the Year. Now, maybe you can uh, confirm or deny this, the Blues Brothers. How did they get their start? They got to, was it because of Curtis Salgado? They were inspired very much by Curtis Salgado, and Curtis Salgado actually gave them some moves and stuff. <laughs> well, this is fun stuff. Now you don't even have to go because you know all the winners. Wrong. They do have to go. It's at You have to go. It's going to be at the Aladdin Theater on October 5th, 7 p.m. Tickets are available at the Aladdin Theater or Ticketfly.com, or you can go to omhoff.org. All right, and there's going to be a very important announcement. The mayor is going to declare. We're not going to even tell him. It's called a tease. It's all right, Terry Courier, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you for being here on Comcast Newsmakers. Make it a great day, everyone.